Hi everybody, a theory that's not hard to understand but very difficult to draw the diagram right. Let's get started on how to draw short run supernormal profit in perfect competition with the adjustment as well. Market and firm, you should remember that from the theory, if not watch my previous video on perfect competition. So in the market we have price and quantity, no issues there, and in the firm we have price, costs, and revenue, you must label all three, okay? And quantity again on the x axis, alright? So always start by labeling your axis. A key thing here, guys, is not to rush too far ahead. So do the basics draw your market with a demand and a supply and equilibrium price and quantity of P1 and Q1, firm to price taken. So take that price across. We also know that the price is the average revenue curve, it's also the marginal revenue curve. It's also the demand curve, so take that across and label appropriately. Okay. Now, you want to show short run super normal profit. So your AC curve, draw it quite low on the diagram, and this will be very helpful. So look at me do it here. Okay. You see how low I let it go on the diagram? This is going to be quite useful um, later on. It, just, it will just mean that your quantities can differ quite significantly. Right? And when you draw your MC, don't draw your MC too steep, okay? Draw it a little bit shallow. That's going to be helpful as well, all right? This is just to aid the construction of the diagram. So watch me draw my MC. It's still got a cut AC at its lowest point, but don't draw it too steep. Draw it something like that, all right? Can you see the angle I've drawn it at instead of it being quite steep? That's going to be very helpful, differentiating the quantities and the positions on average cost, okay? So just do it like that, practice it so you can do it like that. Right, next, we have to show the profit maximizing land of output. That occurs when MC equals MR, that takes us to a quantity of Q2, all right? Next, we wanna work out the level of profit being made. We know there are supernormal profits. The way we've drawn the diagram ensures that there will always be supernormal profit because AC here is cutting uh, sorry, AC is drawn below AR, so we know that um, there are going to be supernormal profits. So the black dot first, that's the level of average revenue. Uh, at quantity Q2, there's a the level of average cost. If you want to take that point across, take it across. If you want to call it C1, you can call it C1, that's fine. If you want to shade it in, you can shade it in. Okay, so that is the level of supernormal profit in the short run. Great, okay, so you've done half of it now. Lovely. We now need to show how the adjustment takes place. The way to construct the diagram is to go backwards now, okay? So this is where you've got to be savvy as a student. If you go back here and start shifting things, it gets all messy. So you know that the long run position is going to be here, the blue dot. That's going to be the long run profit maximization point for a perfectly competitive firm, all right? Because that is going to be the allocatively efficient point of production is going to be the level of normal profit. It occurs there, we know it occurs there. So the way to draw this is starting with that price. Okay, so you know that's where you're going to be. That's going to be the new price, call it B2. And if that's going to be the price, that's also going to be the new average revenue, marginal revenue, demand curve. Okay, so let's call that AR2 equals MR2 equals demand. We're going to call that one, one, and one. All right. So start backwards. You know that's where you're going to finish. So do that first, and then take this price across into the market. All right. Right. So to get this price, you know that new firms will have entered the market. So basically, where supply cuts demand must be there now at this red dot. Where supply cuts demand. So the new firms entering has shifted the supply curve to the right but to cut the demand curve at that red dot. Okay, so you draw your supply curve shifting parallel shift, something like that, okay? And make the point clear that the supply curve is shifted to the right. Now, to stick on the correct quantities. This happens first, so let's call that Q3. So there is an increase in quantity in the market, but with new firms entering, there is a reduction in quantity for the individual firm, who's now Q4, all right? and there is a lower price in the market at the same time. So this diagram is not easy to construct, but the way I've done it makes it so easy, 
All right, and it differentiates beautifully between quantities and between the different prices on the axis. So follow the way I've done it there, and you'll get to the long run position, long run equilibrium, correcting the short run super normal profit that cannot exist in perfect competition. This one needs practice, even for teachers. Uh, we need to practice this one because it's not easy to get right every time. Practice, 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 label curves, uh, label axis, label curves. Make sure everything is detailed like this and you'll be fine. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.